Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. And this is Royal Whiskey Friday, but we're going to start with two different benevolent bastards. You want to give them each their own one. Yes. Then Tim Vassberg is a benevolent bastard for Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Tim Vassberg, you benevolent bastard. <laughs> That's a thing that yes. it does it. It's a little different, but there's also Brian Lovato. Brian Lovato, you benevolent bastard. That's, thank you for the yeah for, for the extras. Rare Whiskey Friday. We're gonna go through and give first impressions on. Oh, you know what? We got to do the thing though. One breath. One breath. One breath. Oh, it's a one breath thing. Okay, breath. then pace yourself. Don't okay. rush it. It's all phonetics. <laughs> Okay. Wait, no, you got to do the. <laughs> and then I say it, you slowly back up. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through and get first impressions on multiple different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily large brands. Sometimes they are, more often than not, these are going to be your smaller craft distilleries without a lot of distribution. If you should be selected, limited place where you can get your hands on these whiskeys, we'll. Damn it. Oh, Damn so it. close. Damn it. Damn it. You were so close. You're welcome for the review and You're thank welcome. you to the Magnificent. I know, let me wallow. Let me wallow. This is oh. how I learn. This is how I learn. This is your first faux pas. <sighs> thank you to the Magnificent Bastard Synth Whiskey. <laughs> this is how I learn. <laughs> you shove your nose in it. All right. This is a gift from Magnificent Bastards, Lucas Erickson and Mark Messerschirikov. I'll say the first one. Lucas Erickson and Mark Messerschirikov. You Magnificent Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> How would you pronounce that? I don't that? know if you got it. Mess, mess, Is that K? Mm-hmm. Mess, your yakov. Mess, your yakov. Mess, your, yakov. Okay. Mess, your yakov. This is from Arizona. Yes. Or not Arizona. Where is? Um, Santan is, uh, yeah, it is Arizona. Uh, this is rye whiskey finished in Napa cab barrels. Now, I'm not entirely certain they're making this. It is a 95.5 mash bill. Do you got a, uh, age on here? No. It's a 95.5 and it says aged no less than six months, but it doesn't give us an actual age statement. And it also just says crafted and hand bottled. It's another one of those like, mm -hmm. yeah, we crafted this. How? By buying it from MGP. I got super herbal wood oil and craft soda. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, like when you get too much ginger in a craft soda. Yeah. Yeah. You got really herbal wood oil craft yeah. soda. Yeah, yeah. This is really young smelling, but then that Napa cab, I'm not getting wine in this at all. I think you may be seeing color. it. I think you may be seeing it because it's a really dark color. Mm. Maybe cherries are coming across a little bit more than I would pick up in a rye. Maybe yeah. that's the cab. There's like a little bit of a spicy cherry there. I'm not hating the nose. There's a no, lot I, going on. There's I like a lot it. going on here. I don't know, by the way. I yeah. don't know this is MGP. Yeah. I don't know who made it. It could be them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 45%. That's actually a, uh, a more dense nose than what 45% would typically set me up for. Ooh, that tastes young. Cinnamon red hots, followed by tea, followed see, by cherries. See, I would say cinnamon tea. You ever had the flavored tea? Mm -mm. Cinnamon in there? Is that like a natural seasonings uh, blend or thing? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting like a cinnamon tea. I'm not getting red hots. It's not quite mm. burny enough for the see, red See, there hot. was a bite of bitterness in there that I attributed to that mighty mm -hmm. cinnamon. Very much sweet tea. Yeah, like really sugared herbal sweet tea. Yes, I agree. And then there's like that craft cola. Yeah, that's lingering. It's syrup. Mm -hmm. It's lingering cola syrup. Yeah, right on. Trippy. I, I kind of like it. Yeah. yeah. If I'm in a right mood, you know what I would probably want to do though? Mm. I would want to see what it did on, on the rocks there. We got rocks. That's a, that's a relatively low proof, but there's a ton of flavor that's coming at you. Just a ton of flavor. Yeah. Don't don't use your little meaty paws. Hobbit paws carry diseases. Um, like possums. You know you can get what's that flesh eating bacteria you get from possums? Leprosy. There you go. You want one more? Hobbit paws have leprosy. I put three in there, but I got an extra one for you if you no, need I'm it. Just that's 
You can put it right here. Okay. No, I got it. Here. You need some too. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you go over the glass immediately. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. This is how I hold my glass. I've always done this. Look at the episodes. Check the tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does bury all the sweetness. Does it? Yeah. No, it's all herbal now? It's just herbal. Super mm. herbal. I feel like the sweetness is what saves this one from being boring. Oh, but the second second approach. Comes back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Next one is called Union Horse Distilling Company. This Still like is it better neat. Kansas City, mm -hmm. 18 months old. And it's a four grain whiskey. Yes. From Isaac Roem. Which is the front. You gotta do this. this yeah, this sorry. Front. Isaac Roem, Magnificent Bastard. Roem. Roem. Isaac Roem, you Magnificent Bastard. Oh. There's a like rum. Rum. Like, R O E H M. You're rum. Almost, if you had rum as the last name, you are ob obligated. Mr. Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina, Mr. You are ob Bob obligated Dabalina. to be a rum guy. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And have a glorious career. In Sorry, you're not allowed. And all of rum. Okay. So, Rolling standard. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a four grain whiskey from Kansas City. You know who has ruined the term four grain? Four grain who? Laws. Yeah. They, as far as I'm concerned, anybody, anytime somebody says four grain, it's you like, think of laws. I think laws probably did it better. Yeah. No matter what you did. No, the laws four grain whiskey was yeah. astonishingly good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, hey, no, that's a. Wait, that's a, that's a. Well. What sour, hard candy. Oak. Uh, and then wood oil. Oaky. Aged wood. This is weird. This is like yard aged wood. It's been outside for a long time. This is really oily smelling. Yeah, this is like like soy sauce almost. Standing in the tree line. Now hold on, that soy sauce is going to be confusing. Standing in the tree line of the woods, you got a lot of like dead fall laying around. But then you've also got a hard candy, like a caramel. Yeah, and then you got the sweetness from the. Uh, it doesn't get too Some sweet. Sort of fruit. It doesn't get too sweet and it doesn't get too woody. It's kind of like right in between that. I didn't like the nose when I first picked it up, but as I keep going back, mm -hmm. I'm liking it more and more. It's 46%. This smells dense. It tastes dense. I, like I actually that. like that. Taste. I like it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting a dryness, I think, from the rye grain. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this round, rich oil that I'm going to attribute mm -hmm. to barley, even if it isn't. It's like you mixed, it's like an oaky honey, like you mixed wood oil in, yeah. in, in, in with the honey. But then there's a, there is a dryness that I think probably, and I think maybe that candy note's coming from the wheat-corn combo. There's no dusty maybe bourbon a, yeah, a little corn bit, note. A little bit of a honey on a wheat bread, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one where you bite into the bread and you still got seeds in it. Yeah. Yeah. Like the kind of slice you could plant and it would probably grow. Man, as a kid, I hated those. My grandparents always ate the bread with the seeds. Right. And so when I get up in the morning, they made me toast and had seeds in it. It was always like, wow, oh, this is... Because my house, we did like like white one, bread. Like Wonder <laughs> like Bread. Wonder bread. Yeah. It was like just can't. It's just like cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there was like real whole grain bread. Right. I was like, what is this bush? <laughs> So it's much more expensive. Than yeah, <laughs> yeah, much nicer, much healthier. Yeah, I like that. I want a pop tart. Hmm. Rolling standard. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Four grain uh, whiskey. I don't know. It's getting drier and drier for me as I go back to it. Okay. I'm gonna use dirty ice. Oh no no no! Well, I can get you some fresh ice. You got plenty of ice. I don't want your Hobbit paws near my eyes. <laughs> I didn't use my Hobbit paws. Let's see, see if I can hit you with not looking. Well, I mean, <laughs> nope. I use tongs like a professional. I lost the ice, Daniel. I don't see it. Some ice lord you are. You should be ashamed of yourself. Got it. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna try a little more. We, we woke up something. That was delicious, yeah. That was a good one. It woke up more of the wheat <laughs> of the wheat bread. It really did. Yeah. It went no sweetness. It's mm -hmm. just wheat. Yep. Wow, that's bizarre. 
I'm actually, actually, that was a joke, but I'm going for the oils that are left behind on this glass is what I'm going for. Definitely a lot more tame once it's cold. Like a lot of the layers you were finding. All really the dryness good. of the grain shows up in the remaining oils on the glass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that more than I expected. All right, we're yeah, moving on. Pretty damn good. I'm kind of interested in this one. Uh, we'll do that one last. I'm going to do this one. This is from Marcus Di Napoli, the now I think also Trash Titan. <laughs> Daniel the Distance, do you hear that? Yeah. Super, super Trash. It's, yeah. it's fine. Here we go. We ran out of an effects budget. What do we do? Uh, Marcus sent us, we've done this whiskey before, yes. but when it was two years old, not three. Oh. So this is Dry Fly, which is Washington Distillery. Mm -hmm. They do like full on grain to grass, glass, blah, 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 right? Yes. Super craft, super intentional, follow the whole process. This is their three year old wheat whiskey. Mm -hmm. We've had the two. Was it the wheat? And we liked it, yeah. Oh, interesting. I like that. It smells uh, mature. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, and that sounds weird, but it's it smells. I mean, old is the wrong word. Mm-hmm. It's it's weird gentle. saying that. Yeah, it's weird saying that at, at three years. But I feel like I should be sitting in a restaurant with cloth napkins. Yeah. Smelling this. There's, it's it's muted nose though. It's a very subdued nose. Uh -huh. I think that's what it is. It tastes soft, which I attribute to like. Age and roundness. Uh, yeah, subtlety and nuance. Or smell soft. Subtlety and the nuance type yeah. of deal. What is that note? It's not peppermint. It's a. Uh, it's um. It's actual mint from a garden. Pull the leaf off. Green mint, not fake candy mint. Do you ever have? So you, you have the peppermints. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have the cherry version? Yeah. Get on the taste. Yeah. There. Get on the taste there. It looks the same, but it's the cherry flavored. Oh yeah, the Christmas candy cane that has multiple colors instead of red and white. Yeah. 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 The yeah. mint. The garden mint is really strong on this. Like rip the um actually in my garden I've got a mint plant mm -hmm. and I have a peppermint plant. Mm -hmm. And no joke, the peppermint plant smells totally different than the mint plant. It makes the mint plant feel less minty and more green and herbal. Hmm. And so and this smells like my generic mint plant. Yeah. Pop a leaf off of it, rub it between your fingers. So I think I like the nose a little bit more than the taste. Mm -hmm. The taste is like, oh, this is like a candy I've had multiple times before. It's definitely not bad. Yeah. But the nose, feeling something, I was expecting something a little bit more natural tasting mm -hmm. and less candy tasting. Still tastes like whiskey, but you, sometimes you'll get natural flavors lay, layered. Sometimes you'll get dessert flavors layered. This is like candy flavors layered. Yeah, yeah. I agree. All right, the next one is from Magnificent Bastard, Terry Bogayong. Bogayong? I'm sure. I, I like, I like Bogayong. Terry Bogayong, you Magnificent Bastard. Yeah. All right. So this Un is from a um, untitled whiskey, Washington D.C. Yeah. whiskey distillery. Mm -hmm. They uh, they talk about how they're all obsessed with craft and everything and some of the stuff, but this is their sourced range. Okay, 
So this, I don't know where it came from because they don't really tell you where. They just say it's not ours. Sure. Um, and then they finish them and blend them and things like that. Does it not say distilled in anywhere? No. It says produced by. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Once again, my biggest frustration with stuff like this is I would really love to know what I was touching because that would be interesting and an exploration yeah. and it makes it better for me. I don't know what, holy crap, did you smell that? Yeah, I'm smelling it. Like what it. is that? I like it. I'm getting another. Antique wood. Antique wood. It's like if you poured. I'm, I'm, I'm back to the, the craft soda. Yeah. If you poured a craft soda over an antique. Saddle oh. oil. Yeah. That's probably a very specific cultural reference that not a lot of people are going to. Yeah. Uh, it's nice. Grain yard alfalfa. I do like it. I actually do like it. There's like I, this. I do don't, not like this. I really like at it at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's good. This is I, I. It happens so rarely. Strong. It happens so rarely, but whenever you and I have very differing opinions on something, yeah. it's suddenly very interesting to me. But what do you so, not like about it? What I don't like is that it reminds me of an Alf Alpha hayfield mixed with like the smell of the horse barn. No. Mixed with leather and wood oil. Right. So a horse board but make, sweet. makes people think, you know, there's some, there's some sh laying around there. No, but you get this must, there, that is in there, but you get there's this no also. Sh there. No, it doesn't smell like sh but it smells like that kind of deep, heavy tone of like wet hay, damp hay, and animals, and saddle leather, and grain feed, and an alfalfa trough. All right. Now, this is a blend of bourbon. Supposedly this one, and I don't even know right. if this is accurate. Supposedly, one of the ones they did was a blend of so uh, bourbons finished in like port cask, ruby cask, sherry cask, port ruby port, sherry cask of Oloroso and Pedro, all these things. I don't know if this is that one. Mm -hmm. This is bat number two, but it could be. 50% on this, and it smells every bit of it. Oh, it's, this is... Dense. It's strong, is you? I like the taste. Turns back into a soda that you were talking about. Yeah. It's soda syrup, mm -hmm. and then a little wood tannin, and that's it. And it's mostly sweet. Yeah, mostly sweet for sure. And that nose dark, through me. Dark, like dark character to that. As dark as the color looks, Yeah. you experience that in the taste. Too. Dark as your soul? Trying to think, what would be the most soulless thing for me to do right now? Mm, you know what I like about this? We got off that pretty quick, didn't we? The bouquet. <laughs> you <fucker>. <laughs> <laughs> when he mixes with the mouth feel, it's, it's quite pretty good. I don't like this. You don't like it? No. I like it. No, I don't. I really don't like it's any of the ones that we did. I mean, it's I, sweeter than I was expecting on the nose. I'm Even fine. though I was expecting a craft soda, the finish with that craft soda gave you the sugary mm -hmm. right off into the sunset. I really would not go back to any of these. Maybe I would go back to the dry fly. And now I'm getting like a dried cherry in here. Mm -hmm. A dried out cherry on the untitled. Yeah, I shifted back into the dry fly. Okay. I think I like this uh, best of the day. All right. Best of the day. Let me make It'll sure. definitely be a separator. Or maybe it was the rolling standard. Maybe it was the rolling standard. That was the one that was more green and then wood oak. I know, there's a lot of yeah. glass, a lot of glasses here. Anyways, here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver. Sorry. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink. drink with us.